Welcome into our broadcast of You Are Enough. I'm your host, Nikki. Before we dive into this video, we want to ask that you subscribe to our channel, like and share, and jump over to our Instagram page at Nikki G. McCray and give us your support over there. I want to thank all of you for what you do daily on our channel to help it become what it is today. You are going to produce and you're going to be restored. Your enemies will not be able to produce. I want to remind you of a passage of scripture about King David and his wife, Michelle. You remember when King David was dancing and the spirit of the Lord fell upon David and his wife began to laugh at him. What did her outcome be? She became barren. Her womb was closed. This is the same thing that's going to happen to your enemies. They will be shut down and they will not be able to produce. You're going to produce. I just want to encourage you to obey God. No matter what path of life that you're on, it doesn't matter what you're aspiring to do. You obey God with everything that you have and God is going to back you up. It doesn't matter how many bricks people throw at you. It doesn't matter how many rocks that people throw at you. It doesn't matter how many ditches and pits that people dig for you to fall in. You will never fall in that pit. You're going to use every rock. You're going to use every brick as a stepping stone to get to where you are desiring to be. You can't be stopped. You hear me? You can't be stopped. Don't worry about what the enemy is doing because whatever the enemy is doing, it has nothing to do with you. It's going to be ineffective. It's going to be nullified. It's going to be void. God is going to come in and God is going to intercept whatever the enemy is trying to do. Whatever your enemies are trying to do, God is going to intercept it and you will never feel it. You will never, ever experience it. You may feel the effect of it like a storm, the wind, but it will be nothing that will literally or ultimately destroy you. You are the person that's going to produce. You are the person that is going to make it. You are the person that's going to elevate. You are that person that's going to soar. You haven't gone through everything that you've gone through with for nothing. You don't go through things in life whenever you belong to God just to go through with it. No, that brokenness has purpose written all over it. That trauma, it has purpose written all over it. You can't be stopped. What people try to do is hinder you, but they're not literally hindering you. They're hindering themselves. But the people who are coming for you, your opponents, your adversaries, because you always have an opponent. You always have an adversary. Always remember that the enemy is ultimately defeated, but there are going to be enemies in the camp that try their best to hold you back. So you don't reach the purpose that you're desiring to reach because you are a threat. You are a threat to the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of darkness is going to fight you tooth and nail and you are going to have to fight in the realm of the spirit through prayer. This is why you have to stay prayerful. This is why you have to stay girded. You have to put your armor on. You got to keep your armor on so you can defeat the enemy. Don't have any confidence in your flesh because your flesh is going to deceive you and your flesh is going to let you down. You've been praying for this moment. You've been praying for these opportunities. You've been praying. You've been beseeching God. You've been trusting God. You've been waiting on God to deliver you. You've been trusting and believing God to open doors for you that people shut in your face. You've been trusting God. You've been believing in God. And sometimes you wanted to give up. Sometimes you wanted to lose heart. Sometimes you wanted to cave in and quit. Sometimes you just wanted to throw the towel in because you didn't see the point of trying. You didn't see the point as to why you need to keep going before you let the enemy get you into that negative place you remember why you're fighting you remember what you're fighting for you remember what your end is going to be you're going to have a good end remember jeremiah 20, 29 11 god says i know the plans and the thoughts that i have for you they're not of evil but they'll give you a hope and they're going to give you that expected end but the enemies of your life will not be able to produce Whatever they're building, whatever they're trying to build, it will be shut down because you can't mock God's people. You can't scoff at God's people. You can't put your mouth on God's people and think there will be no repercussions. There's going to be a lot of repercussions to people who put their mouth on you, who laughed at you, who laughed about you, who talked about you, who talked down to you. There are going to be some serious, serious repercussions for people doing that. They will not be able to use their hands. 
to elevate their life. They're not going to be able to build on a foundation that is solid. Whatever they're building is quicksand up under it. Wherever you build, you're going to prosper. It's going to grow. It's going to flourish. This is why it behooves you to obey God to the T. This is why it behooves you to make sure your heart space is pure. Make sure your heart space is clean. Make sure your hands are clean because you don't want to be a hindrance to your own life. You don't want to self-sabotage what God has for you, family. God has a great future for you. If he didn't have a great future for you, you would not be going through all the things that you're going through with now. So how do you have faith? In order to have faith, you got to believe that God is who he is and that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Faith, that means you got to believe whenever you don't see it. You got to trust God when you don't see it in the natural realm. You got to use your eye to see in the realm of the spirit. You are producing. Did you know you are producing in the spirit realm right now? Did you know you are planting right now and you're going to gain a harvest from it? No matter what you plant, you're going to get a harvest from it. So never plant a seed that you don't want to harvest from. People have sown bad seeds and they're going to reap that harvest. People can apologize to you all day long. They can apologize to you today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. But whatever they have done against you, they're going to have to reap that harvest. They are. God will forgive. But if you made your bed in hell, you're going to reap in that place. So never plant a seed that you don't want to harvest from. Your enemies are going to be shut down. God is going to shut doors. This is why people need you right now. They needed you then, but they didn't realize that they needed you because you did not look the part to them. Because they were superficial people and they judge you from the outside. They judge you for your outer appearance. They didn't judge you from within. They didn't get to know you well enough within. And the reason why people didn't get to know you well enough then, and they desire to get to know you now, is because they judge you what you look like. They judge you, judge you where you lived and how you talk. You just didn't look like an opportunity. You didn't look like anything that they would need, but you were exactly what they needed because God assigned you to these people. Now that God has removed your presence, now God has removed you from the lives of these people, now they can see your value. Now they can see your worth. Sometimes when you don't take heed and when God gives you nice people, when God gives you people that are really genuine, and if you don't utilize these people to the good, God will remove these people. And then and only then will you know who sent them to you and you're going to know what value that these people hold. Your adversaries, your opponents, the enemies of your life, every single one of them, they're going to be barren. They're going to be unfruitful. They're not going to be able to produce. They may start things, but they won't be able to finish it. And they're not going to be able to execute it. They're not going to be able to gain what they want to gain out of it. It's going to flop. It's going to fail. And this is what's going to cause people to place their attention back on you. This is what's going to cause so many people to look you up to try to find you, to see what's going on with you because they can't believe how they left you to where you are today. You know why? Because you are a seed walking. You have resurrection power down on the inside of you. You're always going to bounce back. You're always going to come back. God will always cause you to flourish. God will always replenish your life. You will always be restored. Everything that the canker worm, the palmer worm, and the locust has eaten from your life, everything that that seed eater has devoured from your life, God said, I'm the one that's going to restore. God said, I'm the restorer of the breach. Don't you ever think less about your God. Don't you ever let what you go through within this life cause you to think low of who you are. You are not what you've gone through with. You're not that person. You're not damaged goods. You may have gone through a bad thing, but you're not a bad person. So don't listen to the lies of the enemy because the enemy is going to bring you condemnation. He's going to bring you guilt and shame. But I got good news for you. God said for your former shame, he said, I'm going to give you double for your trouble. For your enemies, they will flop. Their plans will fail. They laughed at you then. They mocked at you then. Now God will mock them. Now God will laugh at them because God is sitting in the heavens laughing. Why does God laugh? Because he said in his word, I know the plans. He said, I know the outcome of your enemies. And you do too because God has given you confirmation to do whatever God is telling you to do, whatever he's telling you to build, you see it through. You see it through. You be just like Noah. 
you keep building. You be just like Jeremiah the prophet. You stay on that wall and don't you come down. It doesn't matter what's going on around you. You keep building, Jeremiah. You keep building, Noah. You keep building because you're building on something that is going to help not your life, but it's going to help so many lives. God bless you. We thank you for tuning into our broadcast. Don't get scammed. You see the scammers. I'm not reaching out to anybody. Anything you need to know about me is always, always in the description box of the video. It's an ultimate fail for your enemies, and it's an ultimate victory for you. Stay hooked up to God. Stay connected and stay prayerful and keep your faith. Don't let anything that you go through with in this life take your faith. Don't. God bless you. We'll talk later. Bye-bye.